What's going on guys, my name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD mode video. So today we are going to be discussing the spear. So this is something I probably should have discussed a while back, but I wanted to wait until the spear was officially released. So what do I mean by that? So basically what I mean is that when the season first started, a lot of players already had access to the spear. They were able to unlock it, but apparently according to COD Mobile's plans, they weren't supposed to release that until like mid season. That's why I'm sure a lot of you guys were probably curious as to why some people have the spear and you don't because again, they kind of just took it out of the release thing. So you weren't able to unlock it till later. So I've been kind of, I guess, busy with training and everything else. I mean, I went to, I guess, some like monthly RSP training for the army and I couldn't really have time to make the video. I could have made it this weekend, but uh, fortunately I had, had other plans. So. Yes, I'm making the video right now just to, I guess, review and give my thoughts on how the spear performs and I guess how difficult the challenges actually are. But to be honest with you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys already know the difficulty challenges for, you know, most of these melee weapons are not really that hard, especially the new ones that get released. They're usually starting off really overpowered, but sometimes they do nerf it to kind of, you know, bring them a little bit down to earth. And I'll tell you the truth, I mean, it did take me a while to get diamond on it, and not because I couldn't do it, it's just that I didn't really want to do it until later. I was kind of just taking my time with it. I worked on this while I was also working on the Type 19, so I was one of those that managed to unlock this pretty early. So yeah, I had it Damascus for a very long time, as you see in the video. So me and my friend decided to just play Hardpoint Shipment because I, I don't know, I guess we were bored or something. And then I just decided, you know what, my, now that we're here, might as well just get it out of the way. So I ended up finishing it. And fun fact, given how well the spear performs, I mean, I would say it's just as bad, if not worse, than the boxing gloves. I would say that it probably took me like one or two games to get this done. I think I was streaming when that happened. I mean, it was relatively quick. I mean, that should kind of like tell you something about how well the melee weapon performs or I guess how too well, because usually with when it comes to melee weapons, even if it's for, you know, stuff like the size pre-patched, I mean, it did take me a while to get the thing gold. I mean, keep in mind, it should take you a little bit. Even if you have enough tickets to max it out right away, it should still take you a pretty decent amount of time. But the fact that it takes you like two games to get this done is actually kind of crazy. And even so, when I did get gold, usually when it comes to melee weapons, whatever kills or whatever amount of kills that you got with it during that match, it usually automatically counts immediately towards the diamond camel grind. So let's say you got like 98 kills, um, but also you got gold in that match as well. Like the diamond challenge will start immediately with 98 kills. So all those kills that you did, even if even before you finish the Damascus challenge or the gold challenge, whatever it may be, like it's still going to count towards your diamond camel challenge. Whatever you did that game will count, which is actually pretty cool. So after I ended up getting at Damascus, I pretty much had like one fifth of the diamond grind done. And through various matches when it before I actually started trying to get diamond with this thing, I mean, I ended up with maybe like 250 kills. I mean, I did use this a little bit in some matches just in case I ran out of ammo or something, but yeah, I didn't really use it until it came out. I didn't bother to get the legendary melee as well. I did do a few spins to see what I would get. And unfortunately I didn't get lucky enough. And yeah, I mean, I don't really care about legendary melee weapons. I don't even think I have one to be honest. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I have it for any of the melee weapons. And that's mainly because it's just, you know, it's not really my thing to use. You know, I always have maybe a Renetti as a secondary. And the only time I ever use melees is only when I'm trying to get it done for camel challenges. I mean, if we had kill records to see how many we would have for melees, like if we had that weapon mastery part as well, um, like all of them would pretty much say zero. And it's not to say that they're not fun using, but at the same time, they're so broken, I have too much pride to even use them in the first place. They haven't really done any changes to at least make it more balanced. I mean, given how overpowered it is right now, and I'm surprised because they made that decision before with the size. I, I think before the legendary skin came out, they took out all the lunch. So I think had they not done that, they probably would have had a lot more sales, at least for that draw. But I guess they learned their lesson or maybe who knows, maybe they watched that video I made and they're like, nah, he, he's right. He probably, we should probably like not make any changes this time around. But as for the next update, we are getting the patch notes tomorrow, I think for all the weapon changes that may come to this game. So for all we know, they might actually make some changes to the spear, but I'm not really sure if they will. I mean, it's 
Like really, other than shipment, it's not really much of a problem. If anything, melees, especially if it's even boxing gloves as good as they are, they're mainly just used for speed boost or anything like that. Especially like in ranked search and destroy, if you want to get to a certain power position immediately, like super fast, that's basically the way to do it. But, you know, as for getting kills, it's kind of rare. But anyways, that's really all I have to say with the spear. It's a pretty formidable thing. I mean, I would say just as good as the boxing gloves, maybe a little bit better because of the range. But again, nothing's too guaranteed. I mean, the boxing gloves, you don't even have to hit people. And even it's the same thing here. I mean, sometimes I'll hit like on the side of a person. It will still actually kill them. It's it's really weird. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. I'll see you guys next time.